And the aim of the project is to have uh, football activities for the kids. So we're having 3,000 kids involved in the project who are the beneficiaries of the project in the camp. And they're having football activities every day regarding the age they're having. It's from 9 in the morning to 5, and we have kind of different categories. For example, under 8, under 13, under 15, and, and so on. It's as well boys or girls. So we have trained uh, coach, so we did the trainer of the, of, of, the, of the coach, and now the coach are organizing all the football activities for the kids every day. And how many people are living here in this camp? Now there's 85,000 refugees living in the camp. In the aim of train more than 100 coach, actually 140 coach, both boys and girls, like women and men. And now they are the ones who are organizing the activities, as well as with our project or also with other NGOs who are organizing football activity. So they have higher volunteer coach from our like training courses and they're all working in the camp through different organizations or with also the IVDP UFR project. In total we have 3,000 kids, boys and girls from 8 year old to 24 actually for, for the men who are more youth but most of the boys are having their training here in that pitch but the girls under 13 they're training in the cover pit because they cannot uh, train or play any kind of sport activities in front of people. So the under 13 years old kids, girls are kind of having the sport activities here, but the other one has to do it in another pitch who is covered from the view of people. And also they'll have schooling and other activities to exactly, do. Exactly, they have school also. It's why, for example, now all the, as you can see, all the activities have been stopped because the kids have to go to school. So at 12, for example, they're going to begin with the school. So we're giving them one hour to go home and after to pack them to go to, to school. And I can see it's very popular when you arrive, especially you have a new football or some t-shirts or some caps to give out. Yes, exactly. And the kids are really kind of having or receiving those new caps or t-shirts. They're really all the time excited about it. But it's not all the time that we are kind of bringing something. But when we are bringing something, they're already, always excited about it. Is there something that people from the UK or other parts of Europe can do to help? Is there a fund or is there support that we can give? Yeah, sure. Any kind of funding will be more than appreciated because as you can see, for example, shoes are something that is uh, kind of a like here for like uh, sports shoes because you see the, the girl they're playing like with sandals or things like that or sometimes barefoot. So this can be also something something to do, for example. And yeah, any kind of kind of uh, support is well appreciated.